By now, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen Katie Britt's breathtaking rebuttal to the State of the Union speech. But just a couple of days later, Katie Britt did what all delusional Republicans do while facing a PR nightmare. Play the victim, blame the left, and beg for money. Katie Britt put out a statement, this time on paper, for obvious reasons. But I'm honestly going to do my best to convey it in a way she would have wanted. I prayed it wouldn't come to this, friend. Following my speech, the far-left media didn't waste a second flooding the airwaves with despicable, disgusting messages about me. They attacked my character. They attacked my faith. They attacked my identity as a mother and a wife. My heart is broken, not for myself, but for my children, your children, and the entire next generation of Americans. Why? Because I didn't prepare a 20-minute speech and stand up to Biden in front of millions of Americans for me? I did it for them, for you. And for your children, friend. I always knew the radical left would come for me. I've never feared their lies or smeared campaigns. Because the truth needs to be told. So I watched the dishonest leftist media. And the liberal elites making a mockery of everything. I've dedicated my entire life to protect. Laughing at the destruction of the American dream. Was it just the left, friend? No, no. Because you see, Katie, you managed to do in 20 minutes what people have been trying to do for years. And that's bring the left and right together. You did that. Maybe you didn't see this clip of conservative commentators on a conservative news show after your speech. May God bless you. And may God continue to bless these United States of America. Uh, um, uh, I, I, don't, I'm, uh. I told you your speech was breathtaking. Or maybe you didn't hear what Charlie Kirk had to say about you. They decided, hey, let's go put Katie Britt in the kitchen and have her act as if she's a C-level replacement actress for a Netflix special. If you look at Katie Britt, actually, how she talks and how Katie Britt spoke on camera, it was a mockery. And in fact, SNL made a mockery of the entire deal. Yes, they did. Former Republican Jeb Bush aide Tim Miller called you creepy. So you see, in conclusion... It wasn't just the left that came after you, my dear. And it's really not that hard to say you fumbled the bag. You could have just came out and said the truth after. That your passion came off as overacting. And all you want to do is set back women decades. Honesty is the best policy. Anyways, bye.